Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is Moon Moth Goddess. Thank you guys so much for your patience, uh, your love and your support. Um, for those of you that are not aware, I am going through um, a big move right now, preparing for a really big move out of state, um, out of Arizona into a different state. And it is a big production to get everything done um, and prep for this move. So the last six days um, that I've been kind of MIA have been extremely chaotic, um, with just not being able to sit down. <laughs> I felt like my feet were like just huge, like just so swollen and <laughs> just so tired of being on my feet and like running back and forth and carrying things and boxes and, t you know, just, oh my goodness. It's been, it's been a lot. Okay, I'm sure most of you know that have moved. It is a pain in the butt and um, it's not fun, right? It can be a fun process, yes, but when at, once you kind of get going and there's so much to do in planning and keeping everything, trying to keep your sanity and your wits about you, um, I was telling um, through the video on my other channel, Neptune's Child Tarot, that... <laughs> I felt like I cried a few times during this process of the last six, six days to try to get everything under control, manageable. Um, but yeah, I, I truly appreciate you guys uh, so much for your, your support um, with everything and your patience with that. So um, as I let everybody know on my Neptune's Child Tarot, I imagine through this moving process that the month of July, August, and I'm going to say September as well. My schedule is going to be a little crazy. Okay. So there might be days where I'm just kind of letting you guys know that I have some things to take care of, um, to get things in order. Um, so there might be days when I'm traveling or, you know, taking care of errands and stuff like that. So I might not be available to do readings. I am still, you know, focusing of course on people's private readings that have scheduled, but if I can take the the general readings that I do here on YouTube kind of like off my plate, it lessens the amount of things that I have to stress out about. <laughs> Not that this is stress, but it's kind of like once you have private reading scheduled, you've got your YouTube schedule for uploading for you guys, pick a cards, and then I've got the moving stuff on my plate. It's like, I am just burnt out, tired. So I thought I was going to be able to sit down with you for you guys yesterday and record, but it just did not happen. It was like, I was like up and down, up and down, up and down, like nonstop. So I'm, t I'm tired. I'm worn out right now. Okay. So today we have the time. I have the time to record this for you guys. So we're just going to focus because I've been a little MIA lately. We're going to focus a reading, um, for those of you that are wanting to look into your love situation, you're wanting to know. How does your person, what are their true feelings for you and the connection? Okay. What are their true feelings for you and the connection? So pile number one, we have time to collaborate with the ant spirit card number one. And that is going to be with the Dalmatian Jasper. Okay. Dalmatian Jasper and the ant spirit for pile number one. What are their true feelings for you and the connection? Pile number two. We've got the skunk spirit with know your worth card number 54. And that is with this rhodonite crystal. Okay. Pile number three, we have the dove spirit and that is with this blue dyed quartz here. It says be peace card number 21. So pause the video. If you need a little bit more time to meditate on the artwork, the crystals, a keyword that is drawing you in the numbers, ant spirit and Dalmatian Jasper for pile one. Pile two is Rhodonite and the Skunk Spirit. And then pile number three is the Dove Spirit with the Blue Dyed Quartz. Timestamps are down below and I will see you guys at your reading. Hi, Pile One. So those of you that resonate with the Ant Spirit, it says time to collaborate. We're trying to find out today what your person's true feelings 
are for you and the connection. So let's get started. What are the true feelings for you and the connection? their true feelings towards you and the connection okay so we have the nine of wands we have the six of swords we have the valet of goblets which is the page of cups What are their true feelings for you and the connection? We have the Ten of Pentacles. So that's like an interesting mix of energy already. And then we have Justice. Okay. So I feel like I want to clarify these energies here. Let's do that. What is this nine of wands here, spirit? Why is the nine of wands here? The world. What is this six of swords? The queen of goblets, which is the queen of cups. What is this page of cups? The Three of Cups and this Ten of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So, and I'm seeing the chariot at the bottom. So really what I'm, and I'm seeing strength is right underneath that. So what I'm kind of getting from this is, and the star is there too. I love it. Chariot, strength, the star, and temperance. Okay. So I feel like this person has some very strong romantic feelings towards you. Some of you, it is love. Some of them, some of you, it is the person who really likes you a lot. They may not know how to express it to you. I feel like it's something that this person is definitely working on. But I feel like this person does see the connection as something that is either repairable, especially for those of you that have had a breakup with this person, or that they're seeing that it is something that is possible for making it to the long term okay for long term they, they can see a future with you being with you for the long term and that may even include getting married okay to this person so really what i'm kind of seeing happening here is that this person is coming to a place where they're letting go of that need for being like super guarded and you know like holding themselves back I feel like it's more or less that they're kind of opening up into their heart, their feelings, their emotions. Some of you, this person could be coming forward with some type of expression of the heart, feelings, flirting. Um, it might even be an offer. Some of you can be a proposal, an engagement, where this person sees that the two of you can be together for the long term. This energy over here is important because the chariot is about us having the willpower to do something, to make progress, to move ahead with something. And we've got the strength, which is basically about having the courage, the willpower, right, to do that. The star is about having hope. It's about having faith. Um, for some of you, it can bring about renewal, right, to your love, your relationship. And temperance is balance. It is also patience. So those of you where this is something like super, super new, um, then it could be that this person is interested in investing their time and energy here. They may take things a little slow. Okay, especially with the Knight of Pentacles energy here. But to me, this is still the energy of commitment. Them dedicating and putting their time. Even if it is a little slow moving, it's kind of like they, they see the potential of the two of you being able to have something that is long term. And then with the, the ant spirit here, time to collaborate. 
This reminds me of the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is about collaboration. It is about people coming together to lay the groundwork for a solid foundation for something. Um, so this makes me feel like it could either be reconciliation for some of you or that the two of you are coming together to really work together to build something that is long lasting. Okay, this has longevity, especially with the, the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles energy here. Okay, so let's um, add in some Oracle messages here. number one what are their true feelings for you and the connection and some of you with the collaborate here you might even work with the person you know this could be definitely be somebody that you work with or they're part of your friend group what are their true feelings for you and the connection pile one we have transformation and it says relationship evolving to the next phase okay ascension and also healing and then we have the thorny rose here. And it says, painful pleasures of love and hardships. So definitely makes me feel like there's a lot of passion here. I'm seeing both of these roses here. Um, maybe for some of you, there's a lot of transformation that's taking place. Or maybe it is a love that has transformed them. It's been very healing for them here as well. Maybe there's something very healing about your aura. We have waiting here, and it says expecting actions um, and also delaying your time for someone or something else. So we have waiting here. So it can either be that this person knows that you're waiting or they have been waiting. Okay. Um, we also have jealousy here. Okay, so this may not resonate for all of you, but we have others hating on your connection wishing they had what you have. Maybe the person that you're with could be someone who has jealousy issues or um, they can be someone who is recognizing, especially if they've been someone who's not taking any action towards you, they may already be at the point where they know that they might lose you, you know? So they have to make some uh, changes in with regard to making a move or move on, right? So we have love lessons here at the bottom and it says opening your heart gained wisdom and maturity and values so i don't know maybe for some of you you're teaching this person a lot you know about love and about connections if you are with somebody else okay if you are with somebody else and not with this person this person may also be learning a hard lesson right about losing you Maybe they're waiting for you to return. They, maybe they are jealous if you're with somebody else. Or maybe if they're with somebody else, there could be jealousy coming in on your side as well. Jealousy can also be factors, trust issues that could have played a role in a breakup type of situation, right? That can also be a situation there uh, for you guys there as well. So let's get some last messages and see what comes through. What are their chill of feelings for you and the connection? Hot and cold, sending you mixed signals, being inconsistent, lack of clarity, inscrutable. Let's see. We have the chaser here, low self-esteem, validation of self-worth, abandonment issues. So really that can be either one of you, right? If the person has low self-esteem, if you have low self-esteem, if there are abandonment issues, maybe if a person fears abandonment, um, let's see what else. We also have shocking events here and it says unexpected surprise did not see it coming and unpredictable. So with our question, what are their true feelings for you in the connection? It could be that this connection was something that was something they're not expecting, right? Um, it can also be chaotic energy that happens between you and this person. Okay, that can also be a situation there as well. Let's see what else. What are their true feelings for you and the connection? Wow, we have pregnancy here. Okay, pregnancy, getting pregnant, building a family, giving birth to something. Okay, so maybe for some of you, it's like the person sees themselves having a family with you. Some of you quite literally could be pregnant. Okay. 
At the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing soulmate here, soul connection, a friend, a romantic partner, compatibility, and then we also have mutual feelings, okay? Your feelings are mutual, equal give and take, and making a compromise, okay? So wanting to make things work, right? Collaborating with you, okay? So that is all that I have for you. Pile number one, I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile two. So those of you that resonate with the skunk spirit, know your worth, okay, with the rhodonite crystal. So the first message that was kind of coming through, and it may not be for all of you, but I was getting that some of you might be dealing with a very challenging, getting masculine energy, a challenging masculine energy. And this masculine is someone who... I mean, it could be a feminine too, but more or less I'm kind of seeing it as masculine or feeling masculine energy. And masculine energy is, is the energy within us that helps us to stay focused, you know, take action. It makes me feel like this masculine that you're dealing with here is a little unstable. Um, and you might be presented with some type of conflict and challenges that is coming up. Um, bringing about tension or stress um, could be just a person who's not grounded and so this may be a message directly for you about you knowing your worth okay I mean we literally have a skunk here so um, skunks are stinky so let's see pile number two how does your person feel? What are their true feelings towards you and the connection? Like it feels like something's off here. Something's off here. Let's see. They may also be someone who has a tendency to make you feel shut out. To isolate themselves. I'm getting maybe even somebody that has commitment issues or they go even great lengths of time without contact or in a no contact situation for some of you right now. Pile two, what are their true feelings for you and the connection? You know, because even the skunk is sitting on a flower. It makes me feel like, I mean, something literally, something stinky about it. Um, kind of like it's trying to be like with the, the skunk is trying to cover his scent up with the flower, you know? So it makes me kind of feel like all is not as it seems. There's, I don't know if it's some type of illusion or let's see. We've got the three of wands. What are their true feelings for you and the connection? We have the Valet of Discs, which is the Page of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Mm. Some of you, I feel like this person is... I feel like there's a little, I mean, a little bit of some defensive energy from this person or even challenges that you face with regard to this person putting in equal give and take into the partnership. And you might be kind of like in a place where you're just kind of like waiting for this person to offer more or give more. And it's kind of like this person here, I feel like it's feeling challenged or struggling with the idea of investing themselves fully into this i'm carrying like denied access denied access and i don't know if that means this person has you blocked or if they just kind of shut you out there's distance i feel like for some of you it could be physical distance there's this energy here of waiting waiting Almost like this person is not revealing their true self. They've got like this, either like a, a very cold or detached exterior. And it's kind of like you're trying to really get to know this person. And there could be blockages surrounding that. 
Uh, let's see here. What are their true feelings for you and the connection? Six of Swords. This card is about moving on or moving away from something. Makes me feel like they're a little bit defensive here. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and clarify these energies. Why is the Three of Wands here? We've got the Hierophant. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Queen of Cups. The Fool. Why is the Seven of Wands here? The Five of Cups. The Four of Swords. Yes, some of you, I feel like this person has already moved away from you or moved on from you. I'm seeing the Death card at the bottom. There may have already been like some type of ending here. An ending. Hmm. I'm feeling some of this is no contact. No contact. Is this person not being clear? I feel like maybe with their intentions. I feel like there's feelings that are here. But it almost makes me feel like this person also sees that you they could you could be someone that they can see themselves committed to, but there's a lot of this person's beliefs. I feel like that are kind of holding them back here. Some of you, I feel like the distance between the two of you is also something that makes them miss you for some of you, like the missed person missing. Some of you, this person can have regrets or even feel guilt. They can also be dealing with depression or sadness. Um... Some of you, I almost feel like this almost feels like something that's already like passed or that something that you guys are already moved on from or that you're no longer talking to each other. You're no longer involved in each other's lives to a certain extent. And I feel like this person might have even been in a place where they were. I'm getting some of you like a person who sees an opportunity for future with you. And some of you I'm getting that they may have missed their chance, missed the opportunity. We're not investing like they should have into the connection. Not pulling their weight. And some of you I get like this person has kind of like moved away from you or is away from you, avoidant of you, pulling away from you. There's a defensive energy that's here. Some of you, some of you, this person may have like the perception of you hurting them or it could be the vice versa, them hurting you. I want to see why spirit is saying here, know your worth. Let's see why spirit, why does pile number, maybe they're telling that to themselves, you know? They could be saying that to themselves as well. Okay. Maybe if you mistreated this person and things were kind of chaotic in your relationship and now they're no longer talking to you, they could also be feeling discouraged. They could be feeling disappointed. And they may feel like maybe moving on from this situation as much as they may have seen a future with you and had feelings towards you, they may have felt like wasn't enough and maybe this is them telling that to themselves like know your worth you deserve better you deserve more okay and that could be something that you feel or it could definitely be something that this person is feeling so take it how it resonates to your situation what is this know your worth spirit what is this about the page of swords there could have been a lot of immaturity with regard to communication for some of you. The tower. Something's happened here. Something that was said, either that you said to them, they said to you. But the tower is something that creates upheaval. You know? 
It could be a very challenging energy. It could definitely be a breakup. Okay? There could have been a lot of petty things that were said between you and this person. Immature things. Hurtful things. What does this know your worth about? The hermit, right? Because now we've got somebody that's isolating themselves. Shutting, shutting you out. Spending a lot of time alone. Reflecting about things. Hmm. Okay, so if that is the case, because that's what this kind of feels like, is that the two of you are not together. Of course, it can be something else, but that's kind of the energy that I'm getting here. There's, there's an ending here. There's been some type of change that has occurred in this connection. I feel like if you are going through that situation with this person, there's still feelings that are here. Like this person misses you. They may have been somebody who saw a future with you. Um, but they also may have been someone who wasn't willing to give something more, right? They could have been imagining like, okay, yes, yeah, so this can happen in the future. But then when you're ready for that right now, this person not ready to, or, you know, them not ready, you not ready. Hmm. I kind of want to see this Six of Swords here because this is a card of moving on. The Seven of Cups. This person can also feel confused right now. Are some of you feeling confused? We've got the King of Cups. Yeah, so it definitely feels like there's a strong connection that's here. You know? I feel like one of you really wants this connection to work. Like you're wanting, you're willing, like even if there's been challenges that are here, someone is willing to put in the effort to try to fix things, try to repair things. But we've got the four of cups and the eight of cups at the bottom with the two of cups. So someone here is trying to emotionally detach themselves from this situation and walk away from the relationship because with the four of cups, this is like develop, someone developing a feeling of indifference or even a missed opportunity. You know, they could be feeling like they missed an opportunity with you or they should have, you know, did something. They should have changed their behavior. They should have took action. Um, or for some of you, if you've literally had some type of conflict with this person and they were the one that ended up hurt, they could be feeling that the best thing for them to do is to move on and to walk away from this because this connection may not necessarily be serving to them any longer right so someone's feeling this here know your worth and it is this person who is either choosing to isolate themselves um, some of you may even be dealing with somebody who has low self-esteem you know they may not feel worthy of you um, could definitely be a situation there as well so let's see our oracle to get some more clarification here what are their true feelings for pile number two and the connection? Obsession. It says unhealthy attachment, controlling, and also jealousy. And that could be either one of you, right? Or both of you together. What are their true feelings for you and the connection? We have fading feelings, withdrawn emotions, distant, not the same anymore, and personal changes. Okay, I'm also seeing lovers past and it says unresolved issues and a lack of closure. So maybe for some of you, there is a lack of closure in this connection or there's some unresolved issues between the two of you enough to the point where someone has started to have a change or shift of perspective with regard to their feelings. We also have temptation here, seduction, led on, interference, and easily distracted. So this can even be like a person who doesn't want to settle down, a person who is tempted by other opportunities that are there. You know, we have lovers past here, so it may even be that you're dealing with somebody who's not over their ex yet, or I mean, that could have been a situation that you were in too, you know? 
What are the true feelings for you and the connection? We have turning over a new leaf, changes in action and behavior and taking accountability. And it could be them that's doing it. Um, you, right? We also have shoot your shot here and it says taking risks, gambling, chances, unknown territory. And then we also have feeling cursed and it says phases of bad luck, the evil eye and also karmic events. So, I mean, for some of you, it could be that there's been a lot of challenges that have been here. Maybe they feel like they're kind of cursed in love. Things are not working. Um, some of you, it's kind of like this person knew maybe that they should have taken some kind of action here. Maybe something to be corrected, especially if the two of you had some challenges in your connection and someone needed to kind of step up and make those changes and maybe they didn't, you know, and maybe the, now they're kind of sitting with that. For some of you, this person, like I said, could be having regrets or guilt. And now you could be someone who's completely shut them out. That can also be a thing too. You could have communicated to this person, no more, I'm done of these games, right? Where you are recognizing your own worth and you're deciding is done. I'm done with this, okay? Let's see what else. Forbidden fruit. It says desired but dangerous, not socially acceptable, tempting and alluring. So some of you, you may even be temptation for them. Okay? Maybe they could be the person who's obsessed and tempted by you as well. Okay? Maybe for some reason, for some of you, your connection is not something that is socially acceptable. Maybe because of religion or culture. Um, or even like if you, two of you work together or it's like a compromising type of situation where the person who's in a place of power or authority or like a boss or a manager or like um i don't know i don't know i'm thinking doctor right now <laughs> maybe like a person who's like kind of has a role in their life where this is not something that is acceptable you know maybe because of a person's career or something like that um I mean, with the obsession, an unhealthy attachment, of course, this energy can go both ways, okay? When energy comes through the tarot, it, it's fluid. So it can be you that's obsessive and you have an unhealthy attachment to them. It could, that could be what they, how they see you. Um, could be many different things. So let's see what else. We have love activation. It says awakening, heart space opening, and also twin flame ascension, which may not be for all of you, but we've got a love activation here, meaning that the person could have been feeling a lot of feelings for you, right? We have secrets here, secret love, admirer, moving in silence, and more to be revealed. So they may even be someone who has secret feelings for you that they have not been able to talk to you about, okay? And then we have an apology, confession, mending the relationship and rebuilding it, okay? Which might be the case for some of you. Maybe for confession, it could be a person who's wanting to confess feelings to you. Um, I don't know. Maybe because we have secret love and admirer here. Secrets, that could be secrets that this person hasn't told you, something they've been keeping from you. Maybe some of you that you even found out that this person was tempted by somebody else and they moved on to another person or cheated on you. Um, and it was something that you found out about and you totally blocked them. You cut them off, right? That could be them sitting with their guilt, with their regret and trying to come back in and apologize to you. Okay. So that is all that I have for you. That was a lot of different stuff coming through here. <laughs> Um, but yeah, take what's yours. Like I said, don't try to ever force, force things. If things come through that don't really make sense, then just kind of let that part of the message go. Okay. So I'm going to move on to pal three. Um, I hope that this reading was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next one. Hi pal three. So those of you that resonated with the dove spirit, it says be peace card number 21 and the blue died quartz crystal. This is going to be your reading. So we're finding out today, what are your person's true feelings for you and the connection? So let's see. Pile number three. What 
other true feelings for you and the connection. What are there true feelings for you and the connection? Pile number three. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have Justice. We have the Hierophant. We have the King of Blades, which is the King of Swords. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so I'm going to clarify these energies. Spirit, why is the four? Okay. Four of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. And let's see, why is the Justice here? The Eight of Cups. Why is the Hierophant here? The Chariot. What is going on here? The King of Swords. The Six of Swords. What is the Wheel of Fortune here? Okay, so <laughs> I'm getting some weird energy here. This makes me feel almost like this person is really unsure of themselves with what they're actually doing in this connection. Uh, I, I, I feel like there's, how do I even explain this? It feels like there's like this back and forth and off and on type of like a theme that's happening with this person who is like, just like stuck in this like very unpredictable type of energy. There's feelings that are here. I'm seeing the page of wands, the ballet of wands and the queen of goblets, which is the queen of cups under the deck. So it makes me feel like this person is attracted to you. They have feelings towards you. Um, it could either be that they really like you, you know, especially if it's something new or if you've invested more time and energy, it could already be at the level of love, but I feel like this person hides a lot of that. And almost like this person is scared to change and take action towards talking and communicating with feeling confident with moving forward with the idea of a commitment here, something for the long term, something that's stable and grounded. And we literally have be peace here with the dove. So it makes me feel like this person like is trying to is, is almost like struggling with finding peace within themselves with the decision and sticking to it, you know, um, because with justice clarified by the eight of cups, some of you, this person could be acting a little bit withdrawn or they may have even pulled away from you, pulled back from you, you know, as they're making their decision here. And then I'm seeing this other energy with the Hierophant and the Chariot of having the willpower to move forward with commitment. And then the King of Swords and the Six of Swords is like more or less thinking logically, rationally, no, move on or move away from this. And then the Wheel of Fortune is about cycles. It's about unpredictability with the Six of Pentacles, which is about equal give and take in a partnership. So it literally feels like I want to take action. <laughs> I want to take action. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, you do. It's like, <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, what, what is this person doing? Whew, wow, pile, pile three. That's what this feels like. It's like they're trying to come to this place. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so funny. I'm sure it's not funny, but it is. When looking, you have to read this <laughs> with what's going on with this person's energy. But I'm sure when you're experiencing it, it's frustrating, right? Like make a move. What are we doing? Where is this going? What are we? What are, 
What are we doing here? So yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Pile three. This is this is like I'm sure this would make me crazy. Like, what is this person doing? What are they thinking? But yeah, it makes me feel like. You know, even with this Knight of Swords energy here, the Knight of Blades, you know, the Knight of Swords is all about being confident, swift in your actions, in your moves. And the Four of Pentacles is like the little safe spot, like you're stuck, you're stagnant, you're holding on to this place where you're at. Um, I feel like for some of you, this person can have an attachment to you, like you guys can have an attachment to each other. And... You know, notice that the horse and the knight, they both have gas masks on. <laughs> so it's almost like this person, I don't know, are they like allergic to commitment? Is there some kind of like commitment fears that this person has, even though with the knight of pentacles energy here, it's like <sighs> they see that this can be for long term. But look again, look at this king of pentacles. He's all suited up with this protective armor and a shield, you know, with this flame that's coming out of the top of his head. So it's like, I feel like things are very intense between you and this person, <laughs> um, to say the least. But yeah, this makes me feel like this person is like all over the place. Yes, move forward with it, let's do it. And then no, stop, don't do it. It's just like this whole, back and forth here. It makes me feel like this person feels mutual towards you. Okay. Whatever this is that you're feeling, they feel it mutual with you. You know, the page of wands is all about discovery and exploring and excitement and passion. The queen of cups can definitely be these feelings of love and nurturing, but then we got the three of swords under that with the nine of pentacles. What is underneath that? The 10 of wands. Like this person kind of holding themselves back. They could be afraid of getting hurt. But their intuition is telling them just kind of like go for it. Wow. That is some crazy energy. Okay. So let's pull some Oracle here. So yeah. Like the be peace. Maybe it's like peace that they need to find with inside of themselves to like either you're going to do it or you're not going to do it. What are we doing here? Pile number three. What are their two feelings for you and the connection? The runner. <laughs> Ghosting, avoiding, non-committal, fear of settling down. Okay. What are their true feelings for you and the connection? Sacrifice, selflessness, giving up ego, unconditional love. Right? So maybe it's like they feel this towards you, but at the same time, what does that mean? Especially if they're non-committal here. You know, that would mean they have to give up being single, which is also under here, under the, was it under the three of swords and the uh, nine of pentacles. That's being single, right? Holding themselves back, feeling overwhelmed. The three of swords can also be symbolic of a breakup or separation between the two of you where this person is staying single, has chosen because they were so all over the place. Um... What are their true feelings for you and the connection? Thorny rose, painful pleasures of love and hardships. So like painful love experiences here. Protection, angel in disguise, watching over you, kind, warm heart. So it makes me feel like they're very protective of maybe of you, of their heart space. Um... We have chaos and I feel like the, I mean, the chaos, yes, could be happening between you and this person. We have disorder, conflicts, a messy situation, utter lack of control. This chaos can also be something that's happening within them. Bottled emotions at the bottom, suppressing and avoiding, venting out how you truly feel. So they're holding back with the feelings that they have here. That could be the chaos that's happening with inside of them, which look at this. It's like crazy. Shocking events. And it says unexpected surprise did not see it coming and unpredictable. So it may even be that like the way that they feel towards you is something that they weren't expecting. You know, 
what other true feelings for pile three and the connection spell work here wow we have casting love spells trying to manipulate an outcome attracting a love interest i don't know maybe you make them feel like you're they're under a spell maybe some of you who actually do uh magic might be this is working i don't know because this looks a little wonky right <laughs> it's kind of like uh, if they are someone who you have done spell work with, this is the result of it, <laughs> okay? It's like very like energy that's a little crazy. We have bad intentions here, red flags, lies and secrets, be vigilant and protect yourself. So we're asking what are their true feelings for you and the connection, right? So I don't know, maybe for some reason this person is questioning what your intentions are. They may have trust issues, right? Um, they can notice that there's red flags that are happening in the connection. This may be part of, part of the reason also, like the person not wanting to get hurt. They may feel like they have to be very protective of themselves or even their own energy. And then we have unlocking here and it says locked doors are opening, removing blockages and love is, look at this at the bottom. We have both of them here. Low self-esteem, a validation of self-worth, and abandonment issues. So we've got running, chasing type of vibes here. Okay. Running and chasing. Hmm. I want to get a little bit more on this bad intentions. I mean, you could be trying to pursue them. And of course, the more that you try to pursue them, the more they run away kind of like this whole back and forth thing, which could get very toxic. Okay. Let's see. What are these bad intentions? The three of pentacles. It could be a work situation. We've got temperance for some of you, or even a friendship type of thing. If it was like a situation ship or even like a friends with benefits type of thing, you know, that could have been even like what their intention was to just have something that was just casual. And then all of a sudden they start to develop feelings for you. And then just kind of like, I don't know what to do anymore. I thought this was just going to be casual. I thought this was just going to be a situationship. You know, let's see what else. Nine of Cups. This makes me feel like someone here was doing things for their own personal satisfaction. Some of you might be feeling rejected here as well with the Four of Cups. Okay, either you or them. Whoever is whoever's being run away from, you know. Hmm. I almost feel like, what does spirit have to say? Spirit, what do you have to say about this whole runner chaser? The six of cups. Hmm. What do you have to say about this runner chaser energy between pile three and their person? I feel like spirit's saying there's a bond here between the two of you. There is a bond. Nine of Pentacles. But it's like someone is almost like avoiding the connection. Either trying to be single and stay single, like they don't want to be in a commitment. Like I said, it's just kind of like this very like, yes, no, yes, no type of energy here. It's just a little, a little unstable, very unstable. Which I'm sure, like I said, is probably very frustrating going through this. I don't know. I want to get some advice for you, Pile 3. What is your advice on this situation with this person? I don't like leaving it like this because this is just like... <laughs> oh my goodness. Pile 3, what is your advice for this connection? What is your advice? The sun. Hmm. 
I mean, this could be a message for you to learn to be more confident in yourself, okay? To know, of course, if you, especially if you're the person who's trying to chase them, you don't need to chase, okay? If they're going to run, let them run. Let them run. You don't have to chase. Now, if you're the runner and you're watching this reading, <laughs> then stop so the chaser can catch up to you already. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, so if you're the runner, I would say maybe this is time for you to think about what your fears are, you know? And if this is a pattern of behavior that you might have in all of your connections, is there some insecurities or fears that you need to work on to really ground your energy here? Because this whole off and on, yes, I do, no, I don't, yes, I do, no, I don't, is confusing and that in itself is something that does create chaotic energy which is not good it is not good right for anybody mentally or emotionally um it's draining you know so yeah if you're the chaser stop chasing i would say that stop chasing focus on um your, con your level of confidence, your power, reclaiming your power and your energy. Um, let's see, what else? What is your advice? Ten of Pentacles. And I almost feel like for some of you, it's having a clear trying to, okay? Trying to with this person, to have a clear communication, expressing your heart, expressing your feelings, um, and if it's something that the person feels like they need to run away from, like I said, let them run. Let them run. Um, you shouldn't have to force anything, right? Something that's truly meant for you will be. You won't miss it, okay? Um, try to keep yourself with the Queen of Cups energy, yourself in a place of emotional stability as best you can, right? Right? Don't let the actions of another person and what they're choosing to do with the situation to throw you off balance or put you into a place where you feel like you have to chase someone, right? If they really want you, they'll be with you and you'll know it, that they're, they're choosing to, to show you based off of their actions and their words, right? Okay, so that is all that I have for you. Pile number three, I do hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading.